Hey guys, it's Taylor. I'm one of the co-founders of Newsticks, and I'm so excited to be here with the absolute boss, Olivia Ponton. And it's been a long time coming. We've been working on this partnership for quite some time, and it's finally here, so I'm so excited. So this might seem a little bit formal, but Olivia, tell us a little bit about yourself. <laughs> Hi guys, my name is Olivia Ponson. I'm a model and content creator that lives in between Los Angeles and New York City. And with beauty being such an important part of my industry, I am very excited to be with you guys right now and be a proud investor. And we're so excited to have you a part of the Newsticks team. And so I thought it would be really fun to do a little interview Q&A session with everyone who's tuning in because you might have your community tuning in, but for anyone who isn't familiar with Olivia, we're gonna get into the nitty gritty and we're gonna dive deep. So my first question is a little bit of an obvious question and kind of a teaser, but what is your favorite Nude Sticks product? Well, if it's not obvious, I collaborated with Nude Sticks to make a beautiful blush and I actually have it right here. It is in the shade Sweet Cheeks. I so happen to have it right here yes. with me right now. <laughs> right now, and it's a three-in-one multitasking product so you can use it on your lips, blush, and your eyes. Yeah, and why do you love Sweet Cheeks and like what was the kind of the inspiration behind the shade? I love this question because growing <laughs> up in Naples, Florida, I was constantly at the beach 24 seven and I feel like after sometimes you'll go to like dinner with your friends and it's really convenient to have like a few makeup products in your beach bag. So this is definitely a product that I would keep in there because you get to just put it on with your fingers and then you're presentable and you can go to dinner. I love it. And when you told me that story earlier, I was like, oh my God, she truly is exactly. the epitome of a beach babe and just kind of like takes out of her beach bag, yes. throws it on to go from day to night. Mm -hmm. I love it. 100%. So authentic. Yes. <laughs> So tell me and us how Nude Sticks aligns with your lifestyle. Well, personally, just being a very natural girl growing up at the beach, it's super easy to use. The multitasking products are good for when you're in your Uber going from casting to casting to job. It's super nice to just freshen up your look throughout the day. I love that. And you also just have like such an effortless vibe about you and just always looking really sun-kissed mm -hmm. and natural. So mm -hmm. I love that. You love that aspect of the brand. So yes. thank you. Um, so I also know that you're super passionate about ocean conservation. So tell me a little bit about how Nude Sticks aligns with your values. Mm -hmm. Well, to start off with the ocean conservation, you guys just came out with a reef safe sunscreen. And I think that is absolutely beautiful and more brands definitely need to hop on that trend. And I mean, just along with the fact that you guys are cruelty free, vegan and sustainable, it just kind of all aligns right perfectly. I love that. So we all know that you love our Nudies Blush. We know that you love Sweet Cheeks. What is one more product at Nude Sticks that is your must have? It would definitely be the bronzing stick. I think it really helps just give that beach glow goddess vibe that I am always trying to go for. I love it. And I feel like you are literally the epitome of that. Like on our shoot today, we <laughs> shot for Sweet Cheeks and she was shooting on the water and I was like, oh my God, this girl just belongs at the beach at all times <laughs> thank you, um, thank it is literally you. goals so i love thank that you. and i feel like with sweet cheeks and your bronzer are kind of like those two products that everyone just needs in their makeup bag at all one thousand percent i yeah. agree <laughs> what is one thing you love about having an influence and having a community well personally my audience is 15 to 25 year old girls and i feel like with me having such a close relationship with all of them and being able to talk to them on my stories or Instagram or TikTok or whatever it be. I think talking about mental health and having that person that I didn't necessarily have when I was 14, 15 years old. And I think that is what makes me the happiest. The moment that it really clicked was about three months ago, I was just at one of my friend's events for his birthday and a younger girl came up to me and was like, I'm bisexual, I don't know how to tell my friends. And I sat down with her, we talked for like 20 minutes about it and she ended up going and telling all her friends at the event. And that was very much a moment where I was like, wow, like I fully just mm -hmm. helped somebody completely come out and that was like an insane moment. And from there on, I will never forget that moment. I love that. Mm -hmm. I love that you're able to take, you know, your 
or have that digital or online community and also interact with them in real life like that. I that feel like, part makes me so happy. Yes, yeah. whenever I get to like meet people in person, I'm like, wow, so I do make an impact in your life. This yeah. is crazy. So you're 19 years old. I know this is a loaded question, <laughs> but where do you see yourself in the next three to five years? That's a really good question. <laughs> so number one, I would definitely say I was just announced as a Sports Illustrated rookie. So it's obviously a dream to grace their covers. Congratulations. At some point in time. Thank you. Thank you. Definitely a dream come true. My second one would definitely be just using my platform to advocate for problems that are going on in the world, like the LGBT rights that are happening in the United States and whatnot. And then mm -hmm. I would probably say just traveling more in general, like going and visiting all the main cities, modeling more, being an all involved with that. I love that. And thank you so much for sharing with all of us mm -hmm. and being vulnerable. And I know our community loved getting to know you and is excited to get to know you more. Thank you all for tuning in and for watching our Q&A series with Olivia. Mm -hmm. um, and we hope to see you all soon. Yes, bye.